guys, it's Ashley here. Welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be giving a quick review on last night's game. It's going Birmingham Wolves uh, at St Andrews. And uh, as as usual, um, as usual, it was uh, a usual derby affair. Uh, more so in the second half, um, as in the first half, it was only really... Um, it was only really um, uh, us that was uh, that were really playing, as um, as as we we had uh, more control really in the first half. But anyway, uh, went in front early on in the side the first ten minutes. Leo Bonatini claiming the goal. Birmingham were literally defending for their lives, and um, Morrison cleared it off the line, but. Unfortunately, it went over the line as goal line technology proved, and uh, and we went in front through Leo Bonatini um, in the first ten minutes, and then uh, we were in, in the first half. We really were um, on top. We were in control. We had a couple of chances to maybe uh, make it two or three, um, but. Other than the goal in the first half, uh, the other significant moment in the first half was uh, the incident. Um, the incident um, between Jossa and and uh, Roberts. Uh, the first challenge, the first challenge, he didn't even get booked for, and then the second challenge was absolutely horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous from Roberts. He literally went straight through, straight through the back of Jota, and uh, that left Jota screaming in pain. And um, and he was just there, going there to to uh, uh, to foul Jota and leave Jota in pain rather than to get the ball. That, I think that was his main goal. That was his main goal rather than go for the ball. He didn't want to go for the ball. He just wanted to take out Jota and just wanted to completely get, take him out of the game, uh, which he didn't. Um, um, I think he was uh, Jota was sideline sideline when he uh, he came back on afterwards uh, with a new shirt um, and everything. But that was a horrendous tackle, absolutely horrendous, and he really should have been sent off for the first one. He he really should have been booked. It would. He should have been booked for the first one, but the second one he should have been gone. If he was booked for, if if he was booked for the first one, he definitely he, he'd have been gone. He he'd have been gone. Uh, if he was booked for the first one, he'd have, he'd have been gone after that, definitely. Um, and uh, that that would have been a straight red. That wouldn't have been the second yellow. That would have been a straight red. That is that is that is dangerous play. And that is just um, absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, anyway, um, after that, in at half time, one up, and I was I was thinking maybe yeah, uh, maybe maybe we could get a couple more goals in the second half. Like the first half wasn't bad. First half wasn't bad. We could, we were controlling the game, um, but then in the second half it was completely different, and and Blues actually turned up. They actually turned up to the game in the second half, and and they were pushing for that equaliser, and we were holding back. But I think, I I think we held we held on in the second half, obviously to that one nil lead. But it's so it really could have been it really could have been uh, an equaliser. Um, there really could have been an equaliser on a different day if Birmingham had a better team then. The, then probably, then probably they would have got a point out of it because, um, in the second half it was co a completely different game. We just sat back and tried to defend, and and um, Helder Costa came on. He had a chance, uh, one on one against Stockdale. He tried to ball roll it like uh, Cavalero did against Reading. Try, uh, he tried to uh, ball roll it. Uh, Paul rolled it, but it failed, and uh, he uh, completely misted it, and um, and Stockdale uh, was ma uh, managed to get that. Um, 
and uh, we had we had a couple of chances in the second half also, but we just we just uh, were weren't weren't clinical with them, and um, but but still in the second half, uh, I guess you could say we were still menacing. We, we were still menacing when we came forward. We came forward with pace. We came forward with pace, and we all were, I think we all, we always still looked to threat in the second half when we came through uh, on the attack. But I think, I, I think if if we can grind out results like that and keep defending like that, uh, and 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 manage to hold on to leads, um, when when in, in maybe in the first half we're playing well and in the second half we're really struggling and we're we're just uh about holding on. That is what promotion contenders I think are made of. That is what promotion contenders are made of. Holding on. To results like that, when you're not you're not really uh, on top in a game, and you really want to hold on to a result, um, and and uh, I just think that is what promotion contenders are made of. But anyway, if you did enjoy this walls video, make sure to smash that like button, and I shall see you. Uh, I shall see you tomorrow um, with uh, an episode of the Big Bear Forum. Until then, come on guys!